this is my little buddy Saron. He's clearly a complete freak. Um, he kind of got famous by luck almost. Well, not really, he's actually a genius. But <laughs> um, I was watching a documentary on him the other day and a lot of people love this, love Supernature as a record, well, as a song. But um, we're completely freaked out by these creepy animal vibes which don't really match the music too much. Um, he's known after this record for using naked women on his covers pretty much, which helped him break into the States. I just like him because he's a weird, weirdo character and he's responsible for some of the earliest disco from Europe. I've never actually listened to, it, to this live record, strangely. Maybe I've listened to it once, but I've heard a lot of good things and I was completely obsessed with um, Discovery. It pretty much changed my life and changed was like the key reason I made music. So it's funny to find this record because I don't own any Daft Punk records. I don't own any Daft Punk CDs or vinyls, yet they're my favorite band back in the day. This isn't exactly an album. It's a lot of albums. Me and the guys, like, all, we all love Fleetwood Mac and it, predominantly their earlier 70s stuff. Um, kind of a big influence on the new album that's coming out. Very, uh, just like the dry 70s production, that West Coast, LA kind of influence. I have no idea what this is, but the cover is probably the most standout in the shop. So I'm now going to try to make out what it actually says and maybe play it. <laughs> it is a Monaco <laughs> Heaver Thrill Jockey is, I don't know, the label. And the record is O-O-I-O-O, -O -O, I think. <laughs> 